book would make a lot more sense if you actually read it. Today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and it's now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes. So I will leave up both their links down below as well as the Goodreads group for topics and such if you want to check that out. This week's topic is to pick your top 5 books with paranormal creatures in it. So I kind of did a variety of paranormal creatures. I didn't pick just one and then do five books on that. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book that I have is Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling and this book has a lot of creatures in it. There's Dobby who is an elf who is like my little baby angel unicorn. I love him. And then there's the hippogriff Buckbeak who I am totally in love with. I love him so much. I mean I've only read up to the third book so there's probably like a lot more creatures but your girl has not discovered them yet so I'm only going with those two. Also Lupus who's a werewolf. So there you go. There's like a million creatures in the Harry Potter books. Have I read them yet? No. But if you want to see me read the first three books as a 21 year old for the first time then you guys can check out the vlogs that I did for them because uh quite entertaining. The next book that I have is The Scorpion Rules by Aaron Bao and I'm saying an artificial intelligence is a creature. Be because like I don't care what you say it is all right deal with it. This book has the villain whose name is Talus and he is an artificial intelligence and I believe him to be a creature. I don't care what you all say. This book also features little automatons which are spiders and they like shock you if you're not following the rules and personally I'm gonna say that that is also a creature because like that's not a real thing so it counts as being a creature but like would not want these things to be real that would be terrifying. So I don't like spiders to begin with so like robot spiders? No thank you. The next book that I have I don't know if this counts as a spoiler so like if you haven't read it like maybe mute me until I put the book down. I don't know but it is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare and I'm saying that Tessa is a shapeshifter. She's a creature. Personally, I think that being a shapeshifter would be like the coolest thing ever. I would turn into a cat like 24-7 and just like sleep my life away. But <laughs> I don't know. I just think that it would be super dope to be able to change into something that you're not. The things that I would do if I was a shapeshifter would be so sick. The next book that I have is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion and this features a zombie. So personally like would not want zombies in this world but this particular zombie is like a little baby angel unicorn and I love him. He's one of my book boyfriends which like kind of creepy because zombie but I love him to death. <laughs> Get it to death? <laughs> Oh, bad jokes with Jay. I didn't even mean that to be a bad joke, it was just a bad joke. Then the final book that I have is Monstrous Beauty by Elizabeth Fama and this features a mermaid. But the cool thing about these mermaids is that they are like cannibal mermaids and like evil mermaids. And personally, I just find that a lot more intriguing than your typical Disney mermaids. Highly recommend this book. It's super creepy, but... The mermaids are totally badass and like way better than Disney versions. Alright guys, so those were my top five favorite paranormal creatures, I guess. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or what your favorite creatures are. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!